Big Two Local Weather Authority forecast. We warn you first with meteorologist Derek Sibley. Good morning, Odessa. A live look outside your doorstep this morning, and boy, do we have a gorgeous view outside right now. And uh, we're going to continue to remain this way, too, with just a few passing clouds out there and a lot of afternoon sunshine. That's, in fact, our first headline bulletin there for you. And, you know, temperatures still remaining near normal for this time of the year. Unfortunately, though, as we head into next week, we are going to start to see a little bit of a warm up trend in West Texas. In fact, it could turn pretty hot around here. We'll get to that here in a second. First, I want to show you those uh, conditions outside now in Midland at 85 degrees. Lots of sunshine. Big Spring, you're at 86 degrees with a lot of sunshine here as well. Even down to the mountains, we are still not escaping that sunshine. 85 degrees now in Fort Stockton. It's 86 here currently in Pecos. Satellite and radar perspective of things looking quite nice here in West Texas. Most of the Permian Basin is looking dry. Now, with all that being said, we were actually watching a few very light rain showers here early this morning in parts of Lee and in Eddy County as well. Now, those showers have since dissipated over time, and we're not tracking anything else right now at the moment. In fact, the rest of your day looks like this. Mostly sunny skies and temperatures heating up into the upper 90s by the time we get to around late this afternoon. Now, by this evening, we're still looking at mostly clear skies and temperatures falling into the low 90s by that point. So we are still looking warm for the most part in West Texas. Now, there is a chance, though, even though we're seeing some sunny skies across the area, there are parts of us that could be looking at a few thunderstorms developing right out here along that you see this uh, uh, boundary here taking shape with a few thunderstorms mainly off to the west this afternoon. Heading into tomorrow, there is another chance that thunderstorms could initiate well off to our west again. They're probably not going to make it into the Permian Basin, a very low chance of that occurring. And then for uh, Sunday, we are looking at those chances uh, for those thunderstorms taking shape mainly down towards the mountainous terrain yet again. In fact, that's where mainly our best chance of rain and storms are going to be over the coming days. And as we head into Monday, you can notice most of the basin still looking very dry. A couple of thunderstorms perhaps down towards the mountains here yet again. So here's a look at tonight, though. Temperatures into the 70s. We're feeling warm out there because we are going to feel insulated thanks to the uh, mostly cloudy skies helping us to keep us warm at the surface and southerly winds are going to be in place still at about 10 to 20 miles per hour. Temperatures outside now are into the upper 80s everywhere else. And right now, we're gonna, uh, as we head into the afternoon, our highs are going to warm into the upper 90s to as warm as those triple digits during the afternoon, especially out west. Tomorrow, temperatures continue to get warm. Highs picking up into the upper 90s to triple digits. And here's a look now at your 10-day forecast. We will, we will continue uh, to remain into those mid to upper 90s over the coming days with a lot of afternoon sunshine to come. Now, the difference is we may see triple digits in store as we head into Tuesday and Wednesday of early next Next week. So just brace yourself because it looks like it's going to be get pretty hot here for most of Odessa Midland and most of West Texas as well. Now remember, you can also download the Air Basin Weather app to stay on top of our weather 24 7, whether we're on or off the air. Also, do yourself a favor and keep track of those hourly temperatures to give yourself a best idea uh, when the best time it is to go outside, too.